Um, so to be told you'll never play again to now be here, how does that feel? Yeah, it's surreal. I think um, after the last couple of years, basically, it's been a very turbulent journey. Um, so for myself and my family to get myself over the line, um, back healthy, back playing again, it's absolutely amazing. And I'm so fortunate um, and honored to be able to, to represent the Knicks, but also thankful for them to put their trust into me um, and my journey, because I know it was a big risk to take me on. And um, hopefully now we can go on with the season um, and achieve some greatness. Can you explain the accident and what your injuries were? Yeah, so I was in a car accident. Um, I was thrown out the windshield. My seatbelt failed. It, it was on. Um, I broke my neck in seven places at the C1 and C2 vertebrae. Um, I did my lower back at the L4, L5 faucet joints. Uh, cheekbone fracture, torn labor in my shoulder, a torn quad tendon, torn MCL, and a bone bruise, plus some other minor things, and more specifically, a subdural hematoma to the brain, so a nice little brain injury to go along with it. How long did the recovery take? Uh, well, I just started playing in team training uh, probably about two and a half months ago, two months ago, so call that 22 months since uh, the day of the accident. We actually play, season opens up the day before the two-year anniversary of the accident, so yeah. The team Phoenix and your journey rising from the ashes shares a bit of symbolism. How excited are you to be starting on this new path? Yeah, I think there's a lot of foreshadowing um, and symbolism coming into this club and to New Zealand itself. So I'm stoked. I'm really excited. I think there's a reason why everything happens and sometimes things are put in place for a reason. So I'm just excited for the opportunity. I'm excited for the team and the club to embark on this third uh, season um, in the A-League, but also for myself to kind of put myself back on the map. And like you said, rising from the ashes. So there's a new beginning here um, and I'm ready to bring this new version of myself and potentially the best version of myself as a person and a player to this club and to this environment. How did conversations with Phoenix go? When did they reach out to you and um, when did you reach out to them? Yeah, I think it was a, quite a quick turnaround to be fair. It was a, an email from the staff um, to my agent and then after that it was uh, quite quick and, and turnaround. So I knew as soon as we saw the email that I, I didn't even question it and think about it. So let's do it. It's a great opportunity. Um, again, I knew there was a lot of things that we had to get done to kind of ensure that it was a safe fit for all parties. but. Yeah, I didn't blink an eye. Um, I think from communicating with uh, Paul to basically getting here was about a week and a half turnaround to pack up my life into two bags and get over here. So very quick. Um, and for me, yeah, it was just the, the opportunity that was present um, and what they're building here that I really wanted to buy into. Where are you at in terms of rehab and recovery? Have you played any football yet and how's it all going? Yeah, I've played football prior to coming here. So I was on trial with Celtic, um, played five games in two and a half weeks. Unfortunately, the, the time at Celtic didn't go as to plan, but again, everything happens for a reason. I find myself here with a great opportunity present. So I'm 100% fit. There's not a single issue from the accident lingering. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to kick season on. How different is Wellington to Liverpool and Canada, and how are you playing <laughs> so far? Um, I've been telling everyone that Wellington, or New Zealand in general, is like a miniature British Columbia. Uh, with the landscape, the mountains, uh, the forestry, and then the water nearby. Um, in comparison to Liverpool, it's almost the same weather, actually. Like, I'm used to playing in the wind, used to playing with a little bit of rain and not a lot of sunshine all the time. So it's not uh, much different, and I think it's perfect footballing weather um, and a great place to kind of adapt and put some roots in. Thanks. Yeah. So a few questions on behalf of Harriet News Hub. Uh, what does it mean to be given another chance to play professional football? Yeah, I think um, after what I've been through, there's a lot of people who probably didn't see this happening. Um, to be able to see all the work uh, that I put in, the turbulent times, the adversity, the resilience that I've worked on in improving myself and who I am, and for it all now to come to fruition is really, it's kind of amazing, and you can't really make this stuff up. Um, this story, this journey, is one of those things that you, you can put in a movie, but you'll never see it in real life. So for me to be able to have a professional contract again, to get myself out there, um, as a testament not only to myself, but the, the people who have invested my, reco my recovery and my journey, the doctors who helped me on the front line, um, to the physios, and then also to Phoenix for, for buying into me and buying into my journey um, getting back. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm just ready to play football and have fun. And how challenging was the comeback? I assume there must have been some pretty dark times. Yeah, it was probably the most challenging thing um, ever. I, I, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. I think I've endured a lot of resilience and I've also endured a lot of um, adversity in the last 
two years that probably most people would never see in their whole lifetime. Um, so I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I think I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about um, people around me and I gained a new perspective about life. And I think that's what kind of helped me get through it. But I can't hide from the fact that there were some really dark times and some really um, mentally challenging moments where you just don't think you're gonna come out of that. But I'm very fortunate to have a great um, support staff around me. My family's always around me. Um, got some good friends and some great medical professionals to help me out. So with all that guidance and support, I was able to kind of rise up and get to where I am now. Did you think at that time there was any chance you'd return to professional football? No, there were many times where I, I thought it wasn't going to happen. I'm going to be quite blunt, um, especially at the very beginning stages where I'm sitting in a halo and I can't move, nothing's working, I can't even touch my toes, like couldn't feed myself, couldn't dress myself. So those are some uh, humbling moments and then later on down the road in the halo still, being told that we're planning for a surgery rather than having the halo properly removed is even more scarier. Um, but even during the recovery journey, once my neck was um, certifiedly like solid, um, I still struggled with moments of just adversity and wondering if I would be able to get back because if you don't, you, when you remove yourself from an environment for so long, you kind of lose that spark and that feeling and you don't really know if that's what you want to do. And I started dabbling in different areas of my life where I found passions in education, um, connecting with people and community. So I was finding that I was doing really well there. Um, but once I started playing again, the spark came back. Um, and there was no question, no doubt, that I'm a footballer and that's what I want to do the rest of my life. Now I've had time to plan for the future. I've had time to plan for retirement later on down the road. But for now, my full focus is on football and just uh, enjoying the game again because you don't realize how quick it can be taken away from you. And what excites you about playing for the Wellington Phoenix? I think it's the opportunity, knowing that this is uh, our third season in the A League. It's our kind of first year independently uh, running. It, there's so many opportunities as a young team um, and fortunately I have quite a bit of experience not only as a footballer but as a person so I'm hoping that with my experience and my kind of view of life that I can share that with the young girls and give them a good path to go forward on it's going to be a tough season for us um, and I think that's what's so exciting is because I have faced adversity and I joke around with the girls and everyone around me that nothing can get much worse than what I've been through but it's really true so I want to kind of share that with everyone um, and I hope that that'll rub off in the season and how we perform um, and rebound back after any type of adversity, whether it's injury, losses, whatever it may be. So I'm just excited again, playing again. Uh, that's exciting for me uh, in a good competitive league. Um, and yeah, to help out the, the club as much as I can. You touched on it a bit there, but how can you make an impact on the, this team? Yeah, I think my outlook on life is one of the biggest things. I'm a very lighthearted, uh, probably too laid back at sometimes, but I don't take anything for granted. Um, every day is an opportunity to just enjoy the moment and, and live it. So bringing that, but I also have an intensity in training. I'm a communicator. I like to talk a lot and I'm sure everyone around has probably noticed that. Um, and then my, my ability and goal, I'm not just a, a quiet keeper. I like to pull off the saves. I'm really good in the air and my distribution can be one of my uh, strengths. So again, it's just about experience and we do have a young squad, so bringing whatever I can, helping the, the next generation of players coming through and getting on the map with them. What do you think will be the biggest challenge for you this season? Um, I wouldn't call anything a challenge, just getting comfortable back in the goal. I, if it's just getting familiar with settings, my fitness right now needs to be back up to game speed and that's just gonna come. Um, but I, I wouldn't see anything as a big challenge. I think we're gonna face some really tough op uh, opponents, um, but we've had a good preseason so far to prepare us for that and we look good starting off strong. So yeah, I think it's mainly just um, keeping myself healthy, keeping everyone on the team healthy and in good spirits because like I said, seasons are long. There's gonna be a lot of adversity. There's gonna be a lot of highs and it's just making sure we ride it and don't get too high and too low. Um, but yeah, just enjoying the moments. And finally, what's your message to other people and athletes who suffer serious injuries or, or setbacks like you've had? Yeah, I think mainly for me, the one thing that got me through this whole process is just staying in the moment. Um, it's so easy to think about what may or may not happen. It's so easy to dwell on what's already happened. But um, my big philosophy right now is just yeah, staying in the now. And it sounds so cliche and corny, but the reality is you can't control what's going to happen tomorrow. You can't fix what happened yesterday. So working on yourself today and embracing every single feeling, emotion and experience you're having. Um, and, and don't give up because there's, a, there's something out there for you. Everything happens for a reason. Um, and I'm fortunate that my reasons led me back to playing football, but it could have nearly taken me any direction. And I think I was well suited for whatever, what was next. So 
yeah, stay strong and keep going. Brilliant. Anything else? Done. Thanks so much. Thanks, team. <laughs>